Hello, hello everyone, it's Daily Space Observations and welcome back to another video. Before I get into anything, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on that notification bell. And if you're interested in seeing sneak peeks of my future videos, then be sure to follow me on my Instagram. Now with that said, please enjoy the video. There is a very vital accessory for astronomy and astrophotography that you may not think is that important but it is, and that is the Barlow lens. Now, at first glance, these things may not look like anything special, but in fact, they actually serve a lot of purposes. Now, I know most of you probably know what a Barlow lens is, and if you don't, that's okay too, because I'll be explaining what they are, but they only have one function, well, that's what you think, that a lot of people talk about. But little do you know, that these things actually serve many purposes. So if you have a Barlow lens, you may not be using it at its full potential. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the concept of the Barlow lens and everything you can use them for. A Barlow lens is a telescope eyepiece attachment that you stack your eyepiece on, amplifying its magnification typically by two times but some can also do two and a half times or even three times. Barlow lenses are usually composed of three parts, the barrel, the primary lens, which amplifies eyepiece magnification, and the small knob on the front of the Barlow lens, which secures eyepieces in the barrel. Both the knob and the primary lens are removable if you want to turn your Barlow lens into a T-adapter. To install your Barlow lens, take your eyepiece out of the star diagonal by loosening the knob on the side and take the eyepiece out. Then put your Barlow lens in the star diagonal and retighten the knob. Finally, take the eyepiece you're using and put it in the Barlow and tighten the knob on the Barlow lens. Here are the results. To turn your Barlow lens into a T-adapter, twist off the small knob and primary lens from the Barlow. Then take your T-ring and twist it onto the front of the Barlow and twist that onto your camera. Make sure your camera doesn't have a lens on and that the T-adapter is twisted on safely, which you'll know when you hear a click come from the front of your camera. To install your camera onto your telescope, take your camera with the T-adapter on and put it in your telescope. Whether there's a star diagonal or not, it's okay. Then tighten the knobs. There's either one knob or two knobs on there, so tighten them both to make sure that your camera is secured in the telescope. Note that you don't have to use the Barlow lens. If you don't want any extra magnification, then you can twist the primary lens off. If you want to put a filter on your camera, no problem. Just twist off the primary lens from the Barlow, then take whatever filter you want to use and twist it onto the Barlow. Be sure that if it takes you a few tries, that's completely normal. My moon filter is hard to twist on, so if, so if you're having a hard time, don't worry, and you'll get it. 